Hey, what is going on, PMP Beta? Today I got a UU match against someone named Coldy on the Smogon Wife of Battle Finder. And before we get into the battle, I'd just like to say, if you guys do not recognize my channel name, this is because this is my first upload to PMP Beta. So yeah, thanks guys. If you enjoy my commentary, then please check out my channel. Link will probably be in the description. But anyway, let's just get on with the battle. Alright, looking at his team, I know that both Neo Kings will be very, very threatening. I'm just kind of hoping that this Neo King that I'm going to be against is Scarf to be kind of helpful in certain situations. But yeah, we'll just see how that goes. And also, I'm kind of looking at his Swampert as kind of a big threat. If it has Roar, it could be a big problem. And I'm also pre predicting him to predict me to go out into my Chandelure. So I'm going to plan on going out into my Roserade, see how that goes. But yeah. Alright, so he is in fact going to lead off with the Swampert. I'm going to predict that, go out into my Roserade. So, first turn, I'm already in a good situation. I know that he's going to switch out because really I wouldn't want to over predict either. And I know he's going to switch out into something, so I'm going to go for the Sleep Powder as he does in fact go out into his Umbreon. So that's awesome for me. I just put to sleep his Cleric. He cannot use Heal Bell or things of that sort. So I know he's going to switch out because really he can't do anything. So I'm going to go for the Spikes as he's going to switch out into his Needle King. Now I'm kind of predicting and kind of scared of the Fire Blast, so I'm going to go out into my Chandelure. He is actually in fact going to go for the Substitute. I really have no idea why I didn't think of that. I should, definitely should have thought of that, but that was a pretty bad play on my part. But that is fine because I'm going to be able to predict him to go for the Earth Power, go out into my Special Defensive Zapdos. He is in fact going to go for the Earth Power. So right here, I know that he's probably going to go for the Ice Beam, but I know that as long as he does not get a crit, I'm going to be able to take that easily since I am Special Defensive. He does in fact not get the crit, so that's awesome for me. I'm going to be able to go for the Roar, Roar Mount into his Virizion. That is awesome for me also since I have the Hidden Power Flying, and I know that as long as he doesn't have the Stone Edge, I will be able to take any hit he has. He is in fact going to go for the Close Combat. Not really sure what set he is. He might be like a mix set that has Hidden Power Ice instead of the Stone Edge. That's kind of helpful for me. I'm going to be able to go for the Hidden Power Flying because I know he's going to die. I mean, come on, it's four times effective and he's at minus one special offense. So yeah, that big threat is out of there. That is really good for me. So yeah, it's awesome. Now he's going to actually go out into his Swampert. Now like I said, this guy is just, uh, this is going to be an annoying Pokemon. This is probably the biggest threat to my team, even though he's not really that much offensive. Alright, so I'm actually going to go for the Roost, predicting him to go for the Stealth Rock, because I know that if I switched out into my Bronzong and then went back out into my Zapdos, he would die due to the Hazards damage. So I went with HP instead of the Hazards, because my Bronzong does have the Stealth Rock. So that kind of sucks, but really Zapdos is a big threat, so I decided HP over the hazards and also I was kind of thinking okay I could just switch back out into my Bronzong and go for the stealth rock hoping that he doesn't have the roar but no he does in fact go for the roar just puts me out back into my Zapdos I mean really my Zapdos can just cannot catch a break at all all right I'm going to speed up this part because really all that happens is a bunch of stally crap I'm going to go for the roost a few times he's going to go for the waterfall a few times I'm just waiting until I can get enough HP as to where I can take two waterfalls and then go for the roar. Right here, I'm going to be able to take two waterfalls. Go for the roar. He's going to go out into his Slowbro. So yeah, right here, I'm going to switch out into my Roserade, predicting him to switch. And even if he didn't switch, I still have... Roserade still pretty good against his uh, Slowbro, so risk first reward. Reward was very, very common. Now, he's actually going to go for the Scald, and I was like, in before burn, because whenever I said in before, it always happens. I'm not even kidding. Every single time I've said in before in my life, it has always happened. There might be a few exceptions, but I'm pretty sure. Now, I'm going to go for the Giga Drain, do a crap ton, that's really awesome for me. Get all my HP back, as he is actually going to go for the Psy Shock. I know it's not going to kill me, since I am bulky. HP is going down, going down, going down, but it is not going to be able to kill me, even with my burn damage going down. Alright, so right here, I know he's going to switch out because he definitely doesn't want to overpredict and then take a uh, Giga Drain to the face. So I know he's going to switch out into something, not really sure what, but he's actually going to, in fact, go out into his on top. <laughs> Him and Intimidate really doesn't matter because I don't have any physical attack moves, so that's the size of the point. I'm going to go for the rest, gain all my HP, so that is going to be nice, good, and now I'm done with my burn damage, so that's awesome. Alright, so I'm actually going to switch out into my Nidu King here, just wondering what he's going to use. I know that if he has the Stone Edge, he most likely will not have Sucker Punch, because most standard sets will have either or. He is, in fact, going to go for the Stone Edge, 
get a crit, doesn't completely matter, but whatever. Um, I'm going to actually go for the substitute, just wondering what he's going to do. I know that if he goes for the close combat, he will be able to break my sub, and I'm kind of predicting he's going to go for the rapid spin. He does go for the rapid spin, so that's pretty good for me. Even though he did get lit rid of some of the layers of spikes, he I will still be able to be under a sub. Now, I know that I'm going to be able to go for the earth power on whatever he has, because I know that nothing can resist this. So that's pretty awesome for me. He's going to switch out knowing that he cannot take any hit that I give him. I'm going to go for the earth power on this Umbreon. I'm like, okay. It's probably going to be like a 3, 4 hit kill. I'm like, whoa. I know, why did I do more than half? I got a crit. I'm like, okay. So that's pretty cool. It'll be like a 3 hit KO instead. So I go for it again. I'm like, okay. So that's pretty awesome. Hopefully he doesn't wake up. No, I get another crit. So that is just awesome for me. That's really good. So yeah. So right here, I realized I can actually get up a pretty good sweep. Maybe not his entire team, but at least most of, most of his team. So he's going to go out into his slow bro. I'm going to go for the earth power. I know I'm not going to kill him, but I know I'm going to do a crap ton since I am life orb and sheer force at the same time. He is going to go for the side shot. Gonna break my sub, but that is fine because I'm going to be able to go for the earth power. Destroy that guy. Get out of here. Okay, get out of here, slow bro. Now he's going to go out into his own Neo King. Now, the reason why I outspeeded here. Either he was a modest nature and didn't really matter, or I did win the speed tie. If I did win the speed tie, then I was a tad lucky, but I was able, I would be able to switch out into something else to uh, take that down. But anyway, I'm going to go for the substitute as he's going to go for the close combat. The reason why I went for the substitute is that I know that if he goes for the close combat, before killing me, I will be able to get more damage off him since he does have the minus one special defense. That might not make sense, but whatever. I will be able to do a lot of damage using the earth power i know i won't be able to kill him though and he will be able to kill me off with close combat no prediction really necessary though because i do have another pokemon to use which is my choice scarf mind shell really i could have either used my spec chain lure or my choice card mind shell it doesn't really matter but anyway i'm going to be able to go for the high jump kick on this him on top and then go for the high jump kick also on the swampert no it's, i know it's going to kill because stab and very powerful move so yeah anyway i would like to thank you guys for watching if you guys liked the video i would like you guys to smack that like button as hard as you possibly can but yeah i will see you guys later